Hello and welcome to another video from the best of cat series. In this question, we will be looking at a nice question from geometry. This question is from the area of mensuration. So, what you can do is you can just pause the video, try out the question on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. Now this is a rather interesting question because it requires you to visualize a bit. What we have here is a ball of diameter 4 cm which means that the radius of the ball is 2 cm and we also have a hollow cylinder that is present which basically means that if you have a hollow cylinder and you are putting a ball on top of it, some part of the sphere will go inside of the cylinder. And that is basically something that makes this question slightly complicated. It is not a difficult question, but it makes it slightly difficult to visualize. Because in a lot of cases, we know that it will go completely in or it will be present in such a manner that the diameter or basically the largest part is just on top of the cylinder. So, we are used to those kind of scenarios. But this is basically a scenario wherein a cylinder is present, which is hollow in nature and the sphere is present, which will go slightly inside of the cylinder. So, if I just want to represent it through a diagram, what I can do is, I will just try to put a sphere first. So, let us say this is the sphere that we are going to put in the cylinder. And let us say we are talking about this cylinder. So, I am talking about a cross section. Let us say I am talking about a cross section of a cylinder which looks like this. The center of the sphere will obviously be above the cylinder because if the center of the sphere is below the uh, cylinder, it basically means that the sphere will go inside of the particular cylinder. That is why the center of the sphere will be above the uh, rim of the cylinder, so to say. So, in this case, what we know in this case? We know that a ball of diameter 4, meaning the radius of this ball, I am just drawing it here, is 2 units. So, we know that the radius of the spherical ball is 2 units. We know that the height of the cylinder is 3. So, this height is going to be 3 centimeter and the volume of the cylinder is 9 pi cubic centimeter. We want to find the vertical distance of the topmost point of the ball. So, this vertical distance from the base of the cylinder. So, this is basically something that we have to figure out. So, in this case, what we need to do is we need to use this to figure out what exactly is going to be the radius of the cylinder. From that, we will have to figure out what is this distance because once we figure that bit out, we are sorted with the question. So, what we can do here is we can just try to figure out what is the volume of the cylinder and how is it related to the radius of the cylinder. So, let us say the volume of the cylinder is given by this formula pi r square h area of base into height for any prism that exists. So, pi r square h is given to be 9 pi. We also know that height of the cylinder is 3. So, we can say that pi into r square into 3 will be 9 pi. Pi will get cancelled out, 1 3 will get cancelled out, we will get r square equals 3. Now, this r square is nothing but the radius of the top part of the cylinder as well. So, r square is 3, so radius will be equal to root of 3. So, I am saying r equals root of 3. Now, if I join these two points, I know that it is basically going to be the perpendicular bisector because it is basically a circle that we have, if you look at the cross section and it is placed rightly on top of a right circular cylinder, it essentially means that we are going to drop a perpendicular from the center of the sphere to the center of the circle at the top surface of the cylinder. And as we know, if you drop a perpendicular from the center of the circle to a chord, then it also bisects the chord. So, in this case, we have dropped a perpendicular, that part is clear. Because we have dropped a perpendicular, we have now formed a right angled triangle with hypotenuse to one of the sides as root 3. So, what can we say about the third side? It is fairly straightforward. You can either use 30, 60, 90 if you are good at these things or you can simply use Pythagoras. Let us say we are using Pythagoras in this case. So, we can say that this third side that we have will be nothing but root of 2 square hypotenuse square that is 4 minus root 3 square or 3. So, root 4 minus 3 will be nothing but root of 1 or 1 unit. So, I know that this distance is going to be 1 unit. We have to find this entire height. Now, this entire height consists of 3 things. One thing is the height of the cylinder itself. The other thing is the distance between the center of the sphere to the top surface of the cylinder. And the third thing is, of course, from the topmost point till the center of the sphere. Now, I know that this radius of the sphere is 2 uh, units and that is why this distance is going to be 2 centimeters. We have figured out that this length is nothing but 1 centimeter and we know that the height of the cylinder is nothing but 3 centimeter. 
So what is the distance or what is the length um, or what is the height we can say of the topmost point of the sphere from the base of the cylinder? This will be nothing but 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6 centimeter and so our answer to this question is going to be 6. Now if you have understood this question well, what you can do is you can try out the replica question that is present at the end of this particular video. Do comment below with your answers in this section and we will get back to you in case there are any further queries. Happy learning.